Warning, the following show features stunts performed by trained survival specialists. The footage is raw, uncut, and uncensored. Due to the dangerous and potentially fatal situations encountered, the producers insist that no one attempt to recreate or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. Three men must outlast and outsmart Mother Nature. We're going to show you what it takes to get out of the most perilous place in Idaho. It's one of the most remote areas in the United States, filled with dangerous rapids, freezing temperatures, unforgiving terrain, and a scarce food supply. We've got to make it through a week where you wouldn't last a day without the right survival skills. Left to fend for ourselves, out here, it's survival of the fittest, and we're out to put it to the test. This is Men vs. Wild. My name is Black Bear. People call me Black Bear because of my brute strength and my speed and short distances. My expertise, survival medicine. Bull Moose is my name. Mostly because of my big rack and because the animals of the forest fear me and envy me. My skill, foraging for roughage. My name is Wolf. People call me Wolf because I'm an alpha male. I know how to get things done and people eat pretty much what I leave behind, which isn't much. I'm a survivalist expert. Like a wolf to its prey is what I do to survivalism. I eat it in the fact that I survive. It's more of a metaphor. Dropped off in the wilderness, we have nothing but our wits to help us survive. Our first task is to get to higher ground and find our bearings so we can plan our next move. And you see these uh, tracks in the snow probably lead to a water source of some kind. You can usually track animals and they'll lead you to food, to water, and uh, in tough situations they can really get you out of a bind. After hiking to this mountaintop, our trail grows hotter. It ends up these tracks belong to a wolf who is on the move, which means he is also on the hunt. We decide to follow him and we catch a break with some more signs of wildlife. Black bear, look at, look at this. Grab some of that. Oh, it's still warm. Yeah. We are getting close. Now from this, you can tell either it's a wild-tailed deer or it's the jackalope. Over the next mountain, we see what our wolf has been tracking all along. Mixed herds of deer and antelope. It seems as though they have found a momentary place to relax and some safety in numbers. This means that there is a fresh water supply nearby to support such a massive gathering of grazing animals in one place. We set out to find that water supply and happened upon a small stream, which is home to a particular species of a small yet vital meal. Now these guys are pretty long if you look at them. <coughs> now they eat dirt, they digest dirt, and they poop dirt. Probably going to taste like a combination of the three. <coughs> But they'll keep me going. They're wiggly little guys. Here we go. Oh. Ah. Kind of like spaghetti that's alive and wiggling down. It's not much, but it's gonna have to do. Oh. Not much to taste, but I just feel revitalized now, and this is a great spot. Good find, Wolf. Wolf, hand me one of those. One more. Let's get one to bear, too. Yeah, we're on to our next find. Hopefully we can see where this stream continues, and uh, hopefully we'll meet up with the river sometime soon, and uh, we can catch some fish. Next time on Men vs. Wild. After hiking and tracking animals only to find a tasty snack, brutal elements combine for a disastrous combination. Icy rapids, hostile wildlife, and a never-ending challenge to survive. Tune in next week where the saga continues. This is Men vs. Wild.